Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input and then restart the game. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the control tab. First of all, try to enable the Steam input. Now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even disable Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. So try both disable and enable and then check but make sure that you restart the game. Next step is to PlayStation controller. Enable your controller in the sound control panel. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option over here. Now once you go to sound, it will open sound control panel. Now over here, now you have to connect your controller using the wired connection. So connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. And once the computer is connected, it will detect you. Once the controller is connected, here you can see the controller, DualSense, DualSense wireless controller, make a right click. Now if this is disabled, then make a right click and then enable your controller. Once your controller is enabled, make a right click once again and then click on configure speakers and then quadraphonic next make sure front left and right and surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish okay now relaunch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable even if you have the xbox controller connect the use the cable to connect to the computer and then check next step is to now again for playstation controller user you can use this ds4 windows so if you have it installed you can uh, launch it if you don't have it and in that case you can just install it install it and you can use this ds4 windows application and then check next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app now for this uh, open microsoft store on your computer and then type in xbox accessories app over here and click on xbox accessories app and then install it and launch xbox accessories app and you have to connect to your controller using the cable Again, once you use the wired connection, it will direct your controller over here. So I'm connecting now. And it should detect my controller. Once here you can see my controller is detected. Now you can click on this three dots and then you will, if there is any update, you will see update option over here. So you can click on update and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, you can relaunch the game and then you can check still uh, similarly if you have the playstation controller uh, in that case you can use playstation accessories app you can search in google and then you can go to playstation website go to the official website and then install the playstation accessories app from playstation website only and then launch PlayStation Accessories app. In my case, it is already installed. Once installed, you can launch it and then connect your controller. Connected, uh, it will detect. If there is any update, you will see update option to update your controller. In my case, it is already up to date. Once the controller is updated, now you can relaunch the game and then check. launch steam in big picture mode so go to steam at the top right here you can see the enter the big picture mode icon click on it this will launch your uh, this will launch steam in big picture mode and once it is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then you can check now still not working uh, the next step is to disconnect all the 
extra USB adapter connected to the computer. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using. So, and sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect extra controller, any kind of USB adapter, any external devices, disconnect it, disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any virtual controller, this is important. So if you have any kind of virtual control like VJOI, etc., you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then you can relaunch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.